So today I am out here and I'm going to be kind of, ooh, this is really hard to admit and a little embarrassing, but tending to some house plants that I just kind of forgot about, to be honest. Uh, I just have been spending so much time outside on my outdoor gardens that uh, sometimes this time of year my houseplants and succulents and cactus kind of get put on the back burner and boy did they ever. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting next to some uh, death. We'll just call it that, death. Um, so I'm really embarrassed to kind of show you this but this is real life gardening and this is you know, this is what happens. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh my gosh. This, this really breaks my heart because my sister gave me this and I could probably, I don't know. I can, I might be able to save this, like cut the heads off and stick them in the ground and they'll be fine. But I think I'm just going to throw it out at this point. She's got tons more succulents that I can get from her. And, um, sorry, Coco. I forgot to water it and it was too late. But anyway, uh, I'll just, I'll get some more from her. So there's number one, death. Um, and then, oh, you guys, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Um, my brother actually made this planter out of just some old, I don't know, metal. He welded it together and I love it. This is probably my favorite planter. It sits up on my uh, mantle, my fireplace mantle. And as you can see, death, complete death. So we're gonna fix that today. Then I have, there's three, actually the, this little planter and then this one and this one right here, they all sit together on my fireplace. Uh, like the bottom of my fireplace so um this one this cactus still looks really good so obviously I'll keep that one this one it feels super hard still but I'm pretty sure it's dead because it's like brown so I'm gonna pull that one out and then it sits by this third one on my fireplace mantle that I've had I probably had this one for this planter for, I don't know, my husband got it for me like three years ago maybe for like my birthday or Valentine's Day or something at the local flower shop, but they're all doing pretty good. I hardly ever water this, um, except for that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. And then this little tiny one, it still feels firm. That one, oh my gosh. This one still feels firm, but it is kind of shriveling up. I think I'm gonna keep it in there. Um, this one for sure, this one looks great. This one for sure I'm going to take out. It's completely dead. So, okay, just death. We'll fix that one up. Then I've got this uh, jade pothos that sits on my kitchen, my kind of kitchen island there. And this looks great. There's nothing wrong with this except for it's like, gr it's growing out of this pot. I've had this in here for probably a year. So I just usually stick this four inch pot in here and just keep it watered. Um, but I'm going to have to transplant it. I think I'm just going to transplant it right into this. So that will be a nice step up. I have a pot in there. Take that out. But yeah, that, I think that will be a nice step up to that in there. But yeah, it looks really good. It just dries out really quick because it needs more soil. Then I have a silver swirl, silver swirl Rex begonia, the Jurassic, this is in the Jurassic series. And this one is fine too, it just, I noticed that the leaves are starting to brown off a little bit on the edges quicker than normal because it's 
uh, it's super stressed. Again, it's probably been in this little pot for a year. So it's time to transplant it. And I think I'm just gonna take it right from this and put it into this terracotta. Um, and it will look, it will be a lot happier. So we're gonna do that. And I had, I had to go into my office and work uh, earlier this week. And there's this, the little, there's a little roadside side shop that I stop at. Um, it's on the way to my, where I work. And they had, that's where I got, if you watch my other movie, that's where I got um, some annuals for a dollar. And they were selling uh, cactus and succulents for a dollar. No, it was three for, yeah, they were a dollar a piece. So I got, I picked up six of them. And uh, those two... Those two, and well, I got, and that this one, and then I got a string of pearls. Uh, and then they also had uh, rosemary. I got some of that one. I didn't get any herbs this year because I just was so busy doing other things. So I usually buy some rosemary and try to winter it over. I got two things of rosemary, they were a dollar piece, and then uh, some thyme. So I'll probably plant those up too. I'm going to use um, these six little cactus here to kind of fix up my, my pot. <laughs> but I let die. Alright, so let's get to it. I think I'm going to start with the house plants and just get those over with. So this just pulls right out. Um, should I cut that other one in there? Okay, so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to plant it right in here. That will give it plenty of room to um, keep growing. And I've just got some soil here. That one's all done, so I'll set him aside, and we'll, well then we'll get this uh, Rex begonia. Same thing. I'm just gonna take it out of this pot and plant it right in this uh, terracotta pot. Actually, I brought out this one to see which one was bigger. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in this one. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, let's put it in this one. one's all done and I think it's gonna like it a lot better having more space to grow I'm really glad I'm doing this now because sometimes I wait too long and it, it gets too late I really don't want to transplant this kind of stuff in the um, winter time but yeah so we'll set that aside Reuse this dirt. 
<laughs> I'll water it with some fertilizer. Actually, it's, it's so dry. I'm actually gonna get it uh, get it kind of wet first. Hear the lows and wibbling. He sells you blue to fly. The midnight train is winding as awesome I could cry. I'm there. This is a cement pot that my sister made me. really cute and then what I'll do is just to kind of offset the just the two plants I'll put some cool uh, colored rocks in there but we'll do that later
spent my whole life looking for someone to settle down with brave enough to try and tie down my gypsy soul so i drove through the hills of montana looking for a i need a few more rocks found them to wrap his arms around me and never let go Made my way further west Didn't stop till I hit the ocean I looked up and down that coast For a suntan man I thought a better start had itself To find the one I couldn't live without Cause I can't find what I need Where I've been Drove all around this country looking for the man I love. I'm gonna dig my roots down deep wherever you're hiding. Oh, I thought I had nothing but time, but time just flying on by. I trucked it up through Tennessee, Kentucky, then West Virginia. But no one quite yet could catch my wandering heart I ended up in New York State Praying this stop was my saving grace Cause I was running on empty fumes And a hopeless heart For the man I love I'm gonna dig my roots down deep Wherever you're riding Oh, I thought I had nothing but time But time's just flying on by Oh, it's flying on by Oh, it's flying on by Dug my roots down deep Wherever you were hiding Oh, I thought I had nothing but time But time just passed me on by I spent my whole life looking For someone to settle down All I have left is two rosemary and one thyme and I think I know just the planter I'm gonna put it in. Usually I plant a bunch of herbs in these every year and I have been super lazy and I haven't even like put them away. So I think I'm gonna grab, 
actually this small one and plant them in that. All right, so let's take a look at what we came up with. We got this string of pearls here, and I just put some moss in there. I may move this because these need a lot of sunlight, and it doesn't get so much sun right here. And then this one is pretty cool with all the different color rocks in it. And so is this one. And all these rocks, I got from Lake Michigan. Then up here next to my Jesus bobblehead um, is this one that my brother made. I love it with all the rocks in it. It's pretty sweet. Then over here is the silver swirl, and you can see it was struggling here, but I think it's going to do a lot better in that pot with more room for the roots to grow. And then over here I have the jade pothos, or pothos, I'm not really sure how to pronounce those. Pothos, pothos, I've heard it both ways, but yeah, I think that'll do much better in this pot too with more room for the roots to grow. And then out here, I got the herbs. Two rosemary and thyme, and a sprig broke off this, and a sprig broke off that, so I'll probably use that for dinner tonight. But I usually have my deck all <laughs> planted up and looking pretty, but not this year. We've just had so many projects going on with like the, sh the wall we built, uh, retaining wall back there this year. My brother and uh, my husband and some friends built that. And then we had this shed put in right here. Um, what else did we do? We're having the deck built and 
Uh, the guy who's building our deck, bless his heart, he's just doing it on his spare time when he's not working, so it's taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. We're just grateful. Um, yeah, we just have a lot going on this year, so I, I didn't plant any planters up here, but that's okay. It's kind of nice to just be simple. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.